As we never did anything so small, new problems come along. I decided to take the same approach of a motorbike. We tried to insert most of the components in what would be the fuel tank. And with this approach, we kept the same shape, the same main shape uh, of a motorbike. So we have very fluid and soft shapes, palindromal, which means that you can flip it and it looks kind of the same. And then we added the front part just to connect the semiotic of the racing vehicles to this one. We were really tight to the size because it can fit in a container and that created a huge challenge with how the components move when you actually have to expose them. So that dictated actually the shape we ended up with and I'm really happy with the final result because uh, you couldn't say probably that inside such a small vehicle there are so many components.